question is there anything we can do to avoid setback yes there is but it is pretty much something that will happen to anyone with any orchid even though we believe to be doing the right thing by our orchids what you can do to avoid setback avoid any unnecessary stressors that could trigger setback but for us that cannot visit nurseries to shop for our orchids and rely on online shopping, that would pretty much also mean don't buy orchids and have them shipped to you, which is unrealistic. However, if your orchid arrives in a shipment, the best thing you can do for it or them is give them immediate soak in CalMag and seaweed. Just to either stop the stress reaction in its tracks, avoiding the setback, or encouraging them that if they've already headed into the setback phase of their cycle when they arrive, help them to snap out of it sooner. This will also help the acclimating process by providing the vitals of the components of CalMag and seaweed. And no matter what you see happening in the pot, do not repot. If new roots are growing, yeah, we are tempted. New orchid, get in there. Mm. My advice is don't repot. Watch the new roots, see if they progress. Hopefully they will, but please wait at least six weeks before subjecting the orchid to the stress of a repot. Also, if you rely on purchasing orchids online, please purchase early spring or early fall. This will ensure that your orchids are not being shipped during the hottest time of year or the coldest for that matter. We do not know where they are stored on their journey to us, the worst being transport delays and hot or freezing warehouses. Oh, goodness me. While heat packs may help along the way, they can also only be effective for a short period of time. Especially in Europe, our shipping time is much longer than in the US. So heat packs, even if used, are well and truly cooled off by the time our packages arrive if they were to have been shipped late fall or early winter. 